digital access, but the idea being sort of a composition piece, something to think about too as you're building color, is it's, at some juncture, it's a good idea to unify color. Like this is a demo, but it's 100% control, right? I'm going to just keep adding and adding things to this, and it probably won't become anything at all. But if I wanted to unify the whole thing, So chaotic and lots going on, some sort of unity, and then you can start putting in accents or pulling back. You see how too? I, I don't know if I talked about this about how when you're using the brayer, you need to really load it all the way up. So just these kinds of movements where you're, it's fully loaded. This is a little bit of a flatter surface. I can do that over here. There's something that's happening with this painting too is um, because the back of this is a light value and it's a cool color, it's creating a sense of depth. So when something is lighter and cooler, it pushes backwards. And when something is warmer and brighter and darker, it pulls forward. And that's kind of, that's something that I'm looking at when I'm working, sort of you can create a sense of depth with that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. that later. We can do all those transfer techniques, but we can also just come in and, um, you know, at this stage, because it's sort of dry, we can come in, and if it's really heavy texture, you can um, put marble dust in it, and it makes the cold wax even thicker. There's a lot of texture, and so by contrast to the texture, I want areas that are totally flat. Does that make sense? Otherwise, it's texture, 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 texture. So, and you see what that does? That adds just a little difference. It's not only, it, it introduces a hard edge when we have all kinds of, you know, this kind of thing going on. Um, but it's also flat. Remove this distracting thing. And here's something too. We don't, when we're composing, we don't want to put anything right in the center. Okay? You, if I have this right here, that's what, that's what you're looking at. And I don't want you to look at that. Right? Not necessarily. So you want to try to move things over. So if I'm going to move this guy over, I'm just going to say, move out over, <laughs> out, of the, out of the center line, out of my, and now I've broken it up here also. We don't want anything coming across this way. Repetition is good, but if I do something that's the same color, same value, same size, it's kind of, it's, it's not exciting. Pick, choose, play, contrasts, and Adding and subtracting. All right, now. Oh, awesome. Yeah. What I really liked when I was working on this one at home is that you can pick up the color because it's and put it somewhere else. Yes, exactly. What I'm yeah. doing to these two, if you can add transparency and then you can also come in and just bring in your RNF pigment stick. So it's basically, there's no order or rhyme or reason to this. It's just following your instincts. It really is very hard to use the solvent reduction stuff. Okay. It's hard to get it to be crisp. And what's your thinking with that color? Um, build in a contrast. Okay. It doesn't mean I'm going to end that cup with that color. It means that if I put white on top of it afterwards, I'll have some contrast. There's lots of layers of light. Light on bright, then light, then dark. Um, and so it's got that sort of interesting contrast. No, no, no.
and then I will overwork these surfaces and then I won't be able to do much to them.